Okay. This says state the number of complex roots again. Oh, look, I didn't cover it up this time. Then find all the roots. And look at what we have. We have this what looks like a quadratic, but instead of being x squared and x to the first, it's x to the fourth and x squared. So we're going to do use a method. We're going to put it in quadratic form, but we're going to use something called u substitution. But first, let's find the complex roots. We look to the highest degree, and that's the number of complex roots that it's going to have. And let me... So, for the u substitution, this is what we do. We let this x squared right there equal to u. Then, x to the fourth will just equal u squared. Because look at u squared times u squared is x to the, uh, would be u to the fourth, right? Or x squared times x squared is u to the fourth. u times u would be u squared. Then, we're going to use the u squared and the u, and we're going to plug it back into the original Whoa. So look at what we did. Where there was an x to the fourth, we now have u squared plus 11u instead of 11x squared plus 28. And then this is just a regular quadratic that will factor. What are factors of 28 that add up to 11? Well, let's see. Let's look at the factors. There's 1 and 28, 2 and 14. They don't add up to 11. Oh yeah, 4 and 7. So we're just going to factor that. So we're going to have u plus 7 times u plus 4, or you could put u plus 4, u times 7. And then, look at what we have. u is equal to negative 7, u is equal to negative 4. But remember, we don't want to know what u is equal to. We need to solve for x. So right here, we're going to now substitute back in Everywhere there's a u, we're going to put x squared. And then we're going to solve. Um, so we're just going to take the square root on both of those. Ooh, negative numbers. We, we're not going to have real uh, roots. If there's a negative sign underneath the radical, that means the imaginary numbers are going to be used. So when we take that square root. Remember, when you take a square root, you end up with a positive and negative version. And remember, negative 7 is the same thing as negative 1 times 7. And remember, the square root of negative 1, the square root of negative 1 is that imaginary i. All right, so when you Simplify that. When you take the square root of x squared is x, square root of negative 1 is positive negative i, and what you're left with is positive negative i root 7. And over here, you could rewrite that as negative 1 times 4. The square root of negative 1 is going to be positive negative i. The square root of 4 is 2. So those are your two roots. And that's it. That is how you, you use the u substitution.